I have lived next to the same guy for three years. Thought his name was Steve. I call him Steve. His name is Steve in my phone. I've been to his apartment. We've had dinner. His name is Brian. His dog is Steve. Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lazos, and welcome to the Click You Look Dandy Final Licious 35 Says Myself, and I do, especially you, Idun. Your friend told me it's your birthday. Idun, happy birthday. I do hope you have an amazing day, and that you enjoy a few minutes of the day watching this beautiful video, and have just a little bit too much cake today, so you feel like slightly nauseous, but not uncomfortably nauseous, just satisfactory nauseous. Anyway, today, we're gonna look at r slash facepalm, all the people in this world doing silly things, and it's important to laugh at ourselves as a human but in a friendly way, right? Laughing with them, not at them or something. Most cases, hopefully, I do hope you enjoy it, you beautiful bean. Let's not go into 2020 being fools. Oh, this is a long time ago. I always feel like uh, last year was 2019. No, it's 2022 very soon. <laughs> Happy time travel. Let's not go into 2020 being fools. Phone flipped over means either you're hiding something or cheating. No, I flip my phone over to let you insecure folks know I'm focused on you. Isn't this just a normal thing to do? If you're talking to someone, it's like, no, I'm gonna reply to this text later. You have my attention right now. <gasps> he is cheating, he's talking to other people than me. Oh my god, let's be toxic on Twitter. There is no better way to get in shape than to prepare for a trilathon. This guy will tell you. Uh, I am that guy, and no, I won't tell you that. <laughs> I swear to God, when stupid clickbaity stuff gets called out on Twitter, it like it makes me believe that the platform might be worth it after all. Ah, oh, that was a good voice crack click. Oh, thank you, click. I like it when you voice crack. Oh my God, click. It's like a crack in your armor. <gasps> Are we becoming friends? No, I am already my own best friend. Oh, click. I'm offended. Ha, <laughs> take that click. Pope Francis. Christians and Muslims are brothers and sisters, and we must act as such. Why don't you ask Muslims to convert to Christianity? Please read John 14, 6. Did you seriously just ask the Pope to read the Bible? <laughs> it's not as much of a gotcha moment than you think it is. <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> the frick is the answer. Coca-Cola plus cola plus cola is 30. Cola plus hamburger burger, 20. Burger fry fry, 9. So the Coca-Cola plus 30 combined means each cola is 10. 10 is actually two burgers, so that means a burger is 5. So then the fries should be 2. Alright, so you have a burger, that was that 5 or whatever, and then we have 2 and 10. 17? Is that it? Alright, genius. You know what I hate about these puzzles? They don't actually teach you the actual method for solving things like this because they always give it away with the first formula. Let me show you what I mean! Click Academy time in paint! Woo! Alright, welcome to Click Academy, everyone. We're gonna do math. It always is fun. Math. Smiley. So, there is a rule in mathematics that you can solve as many variables as you have equations. So, for example, let's say you have two variables, x and y. You need two equations to be able to solve for these variables, otherwise you will get what is called a parameter solution, which means that one of the answers could be anywhere across basically a straight line, and then of course depending on how many variables you have, but that's generally called a parameter solution. So, let's say for example we have x plus y equals 3, and then you have, for example, 3x plus y equals, like, I don't know, let's just pick 6. This is a bit trickier than that hamburger thing, because now all of a sudden you realize, wait a second, how do I solve this? I can't break anything out of the first equation, I can't break anything out... Eh, let me move this down. Oh, there we go. Professional. I can't break anything down in the second equation either. How do I solve this? Well, a trick to solve this kind of thing is either to just... Uh, take this entire thing, times minus 3, and move it down to cancel out the x. Or if you want to do this more simple, you can, for example, rewrite the first equation as x equals 3 minus y. Then you put this bad boy into there. And then you can solve this entire equation, because then at the end of this thing you will only have y's. So you will actually get 3 uh, times this x, which is 3 minus y, and then plus y equals 6. And a bit of a bit of brain gymnastics here. Let's see now. So this will be 9 minus 3y plus y equals 6. And this means that we can break out y, because we have minus 2y here. Let me let me do this a bit less cluttery. So then this equation, we can solve this bad boy. And we can, for example, take y to this side. So we have 9 plus y equals 6 plus 3y. And then we cancel this out, so we have 9 
equals 6 plus 2y. And then we just like take minus 6 on both sides and 3 equals 2y. And y is equal to a half. Yum. And then to solve the other thing, of course, you just squeeze this bad boy into here. And then you get that x is also a half. No, x is one, two and a half. Sorry. Wow, I'm a boomer. Which means this in turn, let's do the equality things here. Ah, there we go. That means that x is three minus a half, which means that x is two 0.5. So this is how you solve it when you... <laughs> what a freaking mess. This is how you solve it when you don't just have the first line giving you the answer to what x is. So you can actually use all the equations to your advantage. And for each equation, you can solve one additional variable. If you have x, y, z, you need three lines of equations to probably solve it. Anyway, that was Click Academy Math. Beautiful. Moving on with rest of Godforsaken video. Homosexuality is not loving. It's one person causing another person significant bodily pain and torture. A male pee, -pee was never meant to be inserted into the butt. Don't people do that in like straight anyway? And it leads to tons of health issues if or when it is. Don't be gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm gay. I have a. Don't be gay. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't conceived via butt naughties? Being so full of shite and all? <laughs> Are you staying or leaving? Eh. Y'all really don't know how hard life can be, and it's funny to me because this ain't even that bad. Honestly, this is not bad at all. You have like a proper big size bed. It's actually kind of roomy. The only thing I would say looks like a bit, you know, run down about it is that you could like have an inner painting on the wall or like an inner coating and something to cover up the lamp with. That's about it. Apart from this, this is a perfectly normal like basement room. Like, it's nothing. God, so. What is this like weird flex? People who leave their phone set to military time are freaking war criminals. How do you look at 1605 and go, wow, I can understand that. Freaking bootlickers, what's next? You gonna join the army, recruit me? Americans be like, okay, I can't count past 12, actually. <laughs> you know, it's just counting past 12. So 1 is 13, 2 is 14, and so on. It's just instead of using AM, PM, you just have these things that basically mean the exact same thing. It's just two different ways of reading the clock. <laughs> Why, why would you admit publicly that you don't understand the clock? <laughs> Faith Community Church. Faith sees God. Intellect does not. What? Oh, you're too smart for our church. That's not a selling point, is it? I am so proud that we are creating an international alliance of nationalists. Together we'll beat globalism. This is the best tweet since Flat Earth Society announced it as members all over the globe. I mean, it is kind of a saying, so it makes sense in one way, but at the same time, <laughs> it's such a poor choice of words. We have members all around the disc. I don't trust doctors, that's why I went directly to a hospital for COVID treatment. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> this is incredible. China is testing its new autonomous electric trains that does not need traditional tracks. It runs on virtual track, can go anywhere. What do you mean virtual track? Uh, okay. Mother fricker, that's a bendy bus. Oh, that's not a good look. And also, I'm so intrigued. What do you mean, virtual rails? Do you mean like it's just a path that is mapped out and like a GPS? And that's like your rail that just keeps you on track? Or do you, do you mean that it's supposed to float on like a, like a simulated track? <laughs> what? I'm so confused about the context here. Remember the Texas prisoner who sued for a cotton blanket because he was allergic to the prison's blankets and officials refused to give him a cotton one instead? I got records showing the state spent $20,000 fighting his case instead of giving him a blanket. Woo! Putting the money where it's worth! Take that blanket! Ha! Well, ain't no blanket gonna cover this cost. Please don't use a calculator, use your brain. And here is a basic math problem. I mean, know how much Twitter likes basic math problems. Okay, class, start with 50, now add 50. What do you get? 100. Now subtract 25. No, that's okay. Multiply that by zero, and what do you do? get? Zero. Add two equals two. Add another two, and what do you get? Four. Okay, class. So multiplications go first. So 25 times 0 is actually 0. So you have 50 plus 50 plus 2 plus 2, it's 104. Yes, indeed. Please comment section, go wild. I should just plant a math problem like this in a video that is intentionally wrong just to see the comment section blow up. That would be really fun, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs>
I did my research, but my freedom sounds like something Big Life Jacket would say. 126 people have drowned here in this lake, wearing life jackets too, not wearing life jackets, 124. <laughs> life jacket companies invented oceans to sell more life jackets. It's freaking obvious. Think outside the brain. Sheep. I've known people that wear a mask religiously and have still gotten the virus. I've known people who obey speed limits and traffic lights and still get into car accidents. People who didn't smoke got lung cancer. How many helmeted kids get hurt on their bikes? The fact that no safety precaution is 100% effective is not an excuse to act irresponsible. Nah, I, I shouldn't use a condom because, you know, it's only what is like 99% effective. Lady behind me in line is annoyed she was asked to place her mask properly over her nose and mouth because she were outside. It's a line to get tested for COVID. The time and the place, you usually say there is a time and a place for everything. There isn't really a time and a place for, for this, but <laughs> it's like the worst time and the place for this. It's like the inverse. Tonight, a 19-year-old at a bar very nicely asked me if I could give him the refund on a vodka coke they bought, because they realized they were too drunk and drinking it would be a bad idea. A move both so ballsly and sincerely I could not possibly refuse. Um, I thought in all US states you must be at least 21 years old in order to purchase alcohol. I am one of the dozens of people worldwide that live in a country that's not America. Oh my god, what? Sweden isn't real. In 1492, the consensus among scientists was that the Earth was flat. Christopher Columbus challenged this notion and changed the world forever. People have known the world is round for much longer than that, so I beg to differ. You know, they figured out, I think it was in ancient Greece, that the world is in fact round by basically using two obelisks, aka sticks, and the sun and measuring the shadows. Here is a picture of how that looks. So you can see that Alexandra and Syene are kind of far apart, but at the same time of day, the shadow cast at a different angle, which means that the shadow isn't directly above this pillar and this pillar at the same time, which means that the sun travels across the sky and the earth is round so the pillars in reality are standing kind of like this so when it's above this one it's shining at this with a slight angle so it casts a shadow people figured this shit out more than 2000 years ago and measured the earth very very accurately like 2000 years ago why is this a debate you can figure this out with two sticks Dwayne The Rock Johnson recently told people that he decided to watch Moana 2016 with his four-year-old daughter Jasmine and was extremely excited to reveal to her that he voiced Maui. I said, you know, that's daddy's voice and I'm going to show you. Maui starts singing and then I start singing. And within 10 seconds, she's trying to put a pillow over my mouth and says, You're ruining the song! <laughs> Man, this situation really rocks. When you're an influencer, but you don't know how to use the Roman numerals. <gasps> oh, that's the beautiful living room, and right now it's... Wait a sec, so at the top that's six, and to the five it's five. Wait, they put the clock upside down. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Got some tattoos, community girl, pretty little... Eh, sploosh dumpster. Ad... ad oh, what is this? What, what, th this is, this, this isn't the good combination of things. A boss saying having naughties with me or you're fired is considered coercion. Yet a boss saying take the shot or's fired is not? Well, you see, naughties isn't like transmittable between the people in the office. It's not something that gets random people sick that you walk by and potentially endanger their lives. Uh, so this is not really a comparable scenario. Um, no. One time this girl really hated me and wanted to ruin my reputation or something. So one day I was talking to a boy and she came up and really obnoxiously said, You know he has a crush on you, right? And he was like, man, I hope so, or else it's gonna be really awkward. She freaking told my boyfriend I liked him. Ooh, the burn take that healthy relationship. Rich people have small TVs and big libraries. Poor people have small libraries and big TVs. Rich people literally have in-home theaters. Please stop lying. This is like one of those bogus inspirational accounts on Instagram, I swear to God, when it's like, how to be a millionaire. Meditate at least 10 minutes a day. Write an inspirational quote on your Instagram page. Uh, think about life. Meditate again. Go for a jog. It's like, oh, <laughs> your dad is a millionaire. <laughs> if you want actual financial advice, don't go to social media. Uh, there might be good people to follow, but it's not the typical vapid inspirational influencers that you will find. There are many ways to grow your money, but it's typically not 
you know, oh, it's so inspirational, take a power smoothie and meditate a bit in the morning and ba-boom, you're rich. Like, no, it's more about smart choices with your money and it can be difficult because to save money and invest it wisely, you need to have a buffer and not everyone is in the seat where they can afford to invest a buffer. And that's the tricky thing. You need to have a system where people are allowed to get away from like square zero essentially. And when you have a bit of leftover money, then you can choose to do something smart with it without barely instead of barely getting by paying your rent or, or essentials. Uh, so it's a more complex problem than just waking up in the morning with a power smoothie. But for example, one smart idea is to diverse. If you want to invest money, if you have a bit of savings, for example, uh, it's typically a good idea to invest an amount you can afford to not touch for a while. Because if you need to panic sell, that's typically when you lose money. So let's say, for example, you have, say, $20,000 in a savings account. Maybe you want to invest 10,000 of those and keep 10,000 as your, as your buffer for yourself in case you need to switch jobs or something happens, whatever it might be. And with those $10,000, you can invest it broadly in, for example, broad funds. You can invest it in an index fund, which is essentially a uh, investment company that works with investing in other companies. And you pay a small fee for it. Don't pay more than like 0 0.4 or something like that, I would recommend. Typically a good idea. And then another way to diversify it, except from just having wide portfolios. And keep in mind, this is for saving on a horizon of about like maybe five years or so. Uh, another thing is to diversify over time. So instead of putting all those $10,000 in this investment account at once, maybe you put a, a thousand every month for a year instead. Because this will mean that even if you're unlucky and you place a couple of these investments on peaks where stuff is more expensive and it drops in value, typically if you invest a little bit every month, that's going to cancel out too. So diversifying both over time and market portfolios is typically a very good idea to go about it. Uh, anyway, weird side rant. Twitter stupid. Let's move on. <laughs> Use this metric system, use this metric system, use this metric system, use this metric system, use this... Bin to the moon. Solid point. NASA uses the metric system. Oh, dear God. <laughs> why is this? The metric system is so much easier. Just, why? <laughs> I can't stop laughing at the reasoning for this Twister PG-13 rating. Rated PG-13. Intense depiction of very bad weather. Oh, no, it's... Fox News and Facebook did to our parents what they said video games would do to us. Oh my god, it's true. Oh no! <laughs> it's not food, it's violence. Will someone please explain to these idiots you don't kill a cow to get milk? Actually, a lot of the time they kill the calves they don't need. They certainly do where I live. This, they breed the cows to keep their milk production up, but they don't actually have any use for most of the calves. Yeah, it's pretty standard. So you can say, yeah, indirectly it looks silly in the context because you're standing by a milk packet. It's like, oh, cows have blood of milk. So in the context, it can look silly. You should add more context to what you're protesting probably to get the proper message across. Like milk kills the calves that they don't need. Something like that. It'll be more accurate and more presentable. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's also like uh, the, the original poster is also like a little bit silly. So, eh. All I have ever wanted from a yogurt is to know who the cows are. The cows, Myrtle, Letty, Root, Ima, Fanny. Notice how they name all the cows traditionally girls' name. There's a deep connection between misogyny and consuming animals. Ah, uh, the click farm. I'm gonna open it when I retire from YouTube where we only milk bulls. <laughs> it's very rich on protein. Punishing women with the death penalty would cut abortions, Idaho Lieutenant Government candidate says. So abortion is murder, but killing women who get abortions is not? This is such a weird solution. It's that kind of thing, oh, you stubbed your toe, let's cut off the leg kind of thing. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah, if there were no humans in the world, we also didn't have to worry about this. Like, ooh, let's just blow ourselves up. Solution. A large boulder the size of a small boulder is completely blocked. <laughs> a large boulder the size of what? I've seen this in certain headlines when they use the weirdest thing to describe stuff like, oh, there's a sink called the size of five washing machines. Sorry, what? <laughs> Just found out my co-worker is an anti-vaxxer. We're microbiologists. I uh, work with a flat earther at an airline. Boy with autism is given school most annoying student award. Wait, what? Preparation Academy most annoying male. That is so toxic. What? What do you- how do you run your school? This- this sounds like a group of toxic teenagers in high school, like, Oh my god, you're like the most annoying in or You're supposed to be adults. You're supposed to be way above this. What are you doing to this poor child? What the frick frack? When I was five, I found out my grandpa had a twin. When I saw him after my grandpa's frickin' funeral, a frickin' heads up would've been nice! That is so freaky! Was that a prank they were playing on you all along? Your grandpa was like specifically to his twin butter. Don't show yourself until I die, just so my grandkids can be spooked. When did you realize your parents were bad at parenting? 
When I was six, my mom was making me pee in a cup once a month for school. Then one day my mom asked me again if I was playing with my older brother. I got up, but my brother grabbed my shirt to stop me without looking up from our game and said, she's using you to pass her drug tests, sit down. Oh, that is so bad. Oh no. What if a stranger could snap your picture on the sidewalk then use an app to quickly discover your name and address? A startup called, oh dear god. A lot of women would die, that's what it, yeah, it's really bad. Don't invent apps that like actively dox people and just make life easier for stalkers. What's the purpose of this app apart from stalking people and doxing people? Like really, it has no purpose apart from that. This is garbage. Oh, maybe this is like a way to get people to wear their mask. Oh, oh my god, it's like you gotta get a freaking doxed unless you wear this mask. It's a weird incentive, but... <laughs> Or as my dangerously stupid coworker once said, It's suspicious how they're making the virus only hurt people who aren't getting those shots. What? What do you mean they? <laughs> who are they? <laughs> you mean the virus? Yeah. <laughs> More love, less hate. Happy pride to all our LGBTQ friends. All lovers of cookies and happiness are welcome here. And they're really cute rainbow cookies. Today has been hard. Really hard. We lost a significant amount of followers because of a rainbow heart cookie we posted. We received a very hateful message on our business page cancelling a large order. Five dozens of summer themed cookies for tomorrow morning that we just finished decorating. Because of a rainbow heart cookie we posted. My heart is heavy. Honestly, I never thought a post that literally said more love, less hate would result in this kind of backlash to a very small business that is struggling to stay afloat and spreading a little cheer through baked goods. So if you love our cookies, we'll have an overabundance of them tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Oh my god, that is so bad. And they seem so sweet. They're just baking cookies and making cute little rainbow things. How how can you hate this? How how bitter do you have to be to hate this? What? I just heard a customer two aisles over go, Hey, I think this is that new special glass that doesn't shatter when you drop it. Followed by the sound of shattering glass. I hate retail. Oh, you know the saying, the customer's always right, is such bogus. The customer, in my experience, is almost always wrong. The customer doesn't work there. Apart from like a vague opinion of what they might be looking for. They know jack shite! <laughs> like, dear God! Ah, oh. The respect should be two ways. As a customer, even though you're paying, make sure you respect the people who work at the business, because they're trying to make a living too, just like you. The world is just full of people, and, and we should try to make the life easier for each other. At least not actively making it harder, dear God! <laughs> A guy says he was questioned on a plane for doing math during a flight. A woman sitting next to the Ivy League economist told flight crew she had security concerns about the man, after seeing him write in a foreign script. It turns out to be a differential equation. Imagine if there was like a 99.97% chance you won't shite your pants, but you're forced to wear diapers just in case. Now imagine you're to wear these diapers to protect your neighbor from shiting his pants. Uh, no, it's it's more like, imagine if shiting your pants was, like, contagious. If you just walking by someone on the street who was not wearing their diaper would cause you to randomly shite your pants. That's how it would work. And then I think diapers would be more common. Because I don't, I don't think a lot of us would be psyched if our, like, poop reflex were, was suddenly triggered on the street because someone else couldn't hold their, their stuff in. in. Uh, then it would be a different thing. Basically, pooping your pants isn't contagious. <laughs> If I have a medical emergency, don't you dare call an ambulance. Y'all better Uber my ass to the hospital because we're not about to pay 5000 for a ride in the wee-oo wee-oo wagon. Everyone outside of the USA. <laughs> what the fuck? The power went out on Halloween, so my friend and I still wanted to make tea. So we had to do this. Took 40 minutes, but it worked. That looks really cozy. But it's gas, not electric. You could have lit the burner with a lighter. Oh, It's such a cozy idea. I would have loved for this to be, like, just cutesy and nice, and just cooking with candles. But, oh. I wished I lived in a city where I didn't need a car. Move to Europe. Plenty cities you can live without owning a car. <laughs> Europe sucks. It's like stepping back in time 30 years. No tech, no food, no chains, no hotels that aren't mom and pop tiny. It's fine to visit, but that's about it. I'm gonna go on a limb here and, and say that you probably haven't visited Europe. <laughs> just, just a wild guess. No English word has double ooh except good. Prove me wrong. Book. Try reading one. I've seen multiple of these posts trending around online where it's like, oh, there are no double oohs. Are these trolls? Are these, like, real? 
is wild to me. What's the dumbest thing you got in trouble for in school? I was accused of plagiarism by two professors and was given a big long talk about how seriously it was taken. I was confused and crying by the end. Then they showed me the art they think I copied and it was my own art from my own site that happened to pop up in a Google image search. <laughs> oh, how dare you copy yourself? Oh, they're trying to get the fridge open. Look at that, it's stuck so hard. It's pulling the handle so hard. But they don't realize that it actually opens from the side. woo <laughs> You see? Brains over brawn, or whatever the saying goes. There you go. Joe Rogan is encouraging young people to get vaccinated. I think Bill Burr sums up that kind of advice pretty well here. I love Bill Burr. He's just anti-BS. Let's see, let's see how this goes. Let's check it. Walk down the street with a mask on? Let's not start this, Joe. Do you, though? Let's not start this. Okay. Let's, let's start it. I, I don't want to start this bullshit. I'm not going to sit here with no medical degree, listening to you with no medical degree, with an American flag behind you, smoking a cigar, <laughs> acting like we know what's up better than the CDC. <laughs> he has a really good point, though. I, I kind of try to avoid this myself, even though I rant about things in my videos. It's usually ranting about very, very obvious things. For example, someone got a basic math equ equation wrong on Twitter, or someone making like a silly argument about how face masks are tracking you. It's like very obvious stuff, but I try not to go into too much complexity about topics I don't know, because we are just entertainers, that's it. And sometimes I have to actually decline people when people want me to speak out about certain things. Uh, when you get asked on Twitter, for example, can you comment on this thing that's going on? It's like, no, it's not my field of expertise. I, I could get this wrong. I'm, I'm a memer, not a, <laughs> I'm not an expert in this field. It's not my place to say. Um, and that's something important to remember for people watching as well. I would never want anyone watching my videos to think they're getting, you know, deep understanding of topics from watching my silly videos. We're debunking comedically bad stuff. Uh, but this is not equivalent to, you know, an online lecture or anything of the sort. I don't have source material in the description. So, just a description. Click Academy is good, we debunk stuff. Go to my homework streams, that's good. That's actually when I do stuff that I, I master. I used to work as a math teacher. So there I can say that I comfortably am doing something that I actually know what I'm doing. Same thing goes for, like, statistical mathematics. Um, but uh, a lot of the fields, not so much. Sis ordered a root beer float and had a whole monologue prepared. Oh no. Oh no. So they put a whole bunch of ice cream and then they put soda in there. You get maybe three sucks out of it and you're stuck with ice cream and they give you a spoon for that. But I'm not two and a half. I'm, I don't want the ice cream. I want to be able to suck it all the way through. All the way through. Okay? All the way through so that I can have a drink. I don't want to have a straw. That's not... I want to a root beer float, which means root beer comes first before the float. So light ice cream, but I still want it in there. And usually, oh, let me just see this last thing. They'll give you a small courtesy club, courtesy cup, and then um, which I know you're not gonna do, but that's what they do, and they're very greedy. At a meters. courtesy they cup. They what? For everything. I only go to the one on Crenshaw since all the other ones are bad. That was starting to come back. We can pay enough for this. But, uh, yeah, and they'll give you a side care table. Just pour that in. So no, and she doesn't pay enough for this. And they see it for themselves. It's nothing but ice cream. Okay. Uh, I, I, so a small root beer float. Gotcha. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So, You're ordering like a, what, a $2 milkshake or something? You're not paying enough to, to act like this. Like, what the heck? If you were at a luxury restaurant and you just paid a hundred bucks for their lobster and they botched it, I mean, okay, yeah, you have the right to be upset about it and, and rant a bit, but this? Come on. We can finally watch football while driving on the highway! This is a bad idea, lol. Isn't it illegal to, like, drive with your phone and watch things on your phone screen? How did they get this? How is this different? This is probably worse because you even look to the side. Oh, no. Ed Solomon. At the cafe where I was writing, the people next to me were disagreeing about the origins of Men in Black. And I said, if you like, I could clear that up for you. And one responded, I'm sorry, we do not need an old white man's mansplanation. So I apologized, and that was that. Ed Solomon is the person who wrote Men in Black. <laughs> I've never seen that twist of the word, mansplanation. <laughs> what made you quit weed? I watched a whole movie on mute and started crying because I thought I was deaf. Oh god, that seems like a good reason. 
God. You know, vaccines are basically Hatler. Oh, da 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 ba 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 ba. It's so, so witty. Look at that. I'm just waiting for them to make like a sign that is basically a devil, but instead of horns, it has like two vaccine needles. And like, ooh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bonk you with my horn needles. Hi, excuse me. I just found out that the professor for this online course I'm taking died in 2019. And he's technically still giving classes since he is literally my professor for this course. And I'm learning from lectures recorded before his passing. It's a great class, but what? That's kind of freaky. That's a He's teaching from beyond the grave r slash shower thoughts. If you love milk chocolate but don't like dark chocolate, you actually like sugar more than the chocolate. If you like pickles but not cucumbers, you actually like vinegar more than cucumbers. If you like roasted chicken but not raw chicken, you actually like the heat from your oven more than the chicken. The American education system has no cultural slash racial bias. The American education system. Woo! <laughs> What's wrong with this? Egypt is in Europe, right? Just the artifacts. This whole chain is so funny. Joe Biden's illegal vaccine mandate at work. Suddenly we're short on pilots and air traffic controllers. Hi, uh, Senator. I wrote that article. Where'd you hear that there is a shortage due to the vaccine mandate? Oh, where people like just read the headline and think it's proof for... No. Don't eat or drink anything after midnight before his three-year-old daughter's surgery the next morning. Tonsils and... and While intubating his daughter the next morning, she vomited scrambled eggs, causing her to aspirate them into her lungs. Her heart stopped, and we did chest compressions on her for 25 minutes. We got her back, aborted the surgery, and transferred her to a pediatric e ICU on a ventilator. Later. Her father responded, She said she was hungry. I thought you were being too hard on her. It must have been something you did to her. Oh, you know, you know, sometimes in the past I mentioned like, shouldn't parenting require a license? It would never work in practice because, gosh, heck, it opens up a whole rabbit hole of issues. But sometimes you just, you just wish theory could be reality, right? Imagine using your baby announcement to tell the world your husband is bad at naughties. Recipe for baby. One cup mommy, three pumps daddy mixed with love, bake until July. I hope they mean like, you know, squirt, 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 but it's like, maybe it's just poorly formulated. I'm hoping so. Oh god. Kids these days don't know the struggle. Uh-huh. You really struggle with this? Literally match the colors, bro. Back in the day when I was a kid, my color blindness was actually more severe, so I couldn't tell a couple of these apart sometimes. Uh, it, it was kind of weird. It got better when I got older. I still have issues with certain colors, like red, green, blue, purple for some reason, and like teal, light blue kind of stuff. A lot of colors just kind of blend together. It's not like an, a, a complete color blindness, but I remember when I was a kid, it was way worse. And my parents actually figured out I was colorblind when I was a kid, because when I did math, for example, I, was, I put together everything really easy. But as soon as it came to like colored pencils, for example, like, oh, how many of these colors, how many of these pencils are green? And I was like, all of a sudden I couldn't count. And uh, that's how they figured out I was colorblind. Fun little anecdote. Oh, that's the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching, you beautiful, beautiful beans. I do hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.